All right, welcome, welcome. So, lesson 30, linear systems and three variables. Um, if I, the warm up for this lesson is basically you have a system of equation, and here you just have two variables, right? This from Algebra 1, um, this is a technique I believe you should know. And if you don't know how to solve these types of linear equations, um, I will show you here as a warm up. But let's say if you don't have a good idea on how to do these questions, let me know and we'll practice more. Because here, once we have two variables, it's not too bad. But here, if we have a system of equation with three variables, it gets a little messy. And the ideas and strategies and the techniques allow you to be creative. So it'll be very nice once we start getting good at how to do these equations. Maybe you'll pick it up in one day, maybe it'll take you one or two days to get it, but it's not impossible. Okay, what I'd like you to do is solve these systems of equations by yourself, this one and this one, okay? And then when you get something, show me and I'll check it and then you can move on to the lesson. And in the lesson, I show you exactly how to solve for three variables, okay? So let's say you want to see the solution for the first system, okay? Um, let's do uh, famous YouTube pens. Let's go with, uh, actually, no, no black right now. Let's do green. Okay, so here, what is the game plan? Um, the second you see this, I would think let's get rid of the X, right? Like just do minus here and minus here, right? So then this becomes uh, a minus 2x, a minus y, and a minus 3. I don't know. I don't know how you guys learn this. I cut. Oh, whoops. I don't know how you guys learn this, but everyone has their own way of doing these systems, okay? So 2x minus 2x, this cancels. So now you get 2y is equal to 7 minus 3 is 4, y is equal to 2, okay? And then what do you do with this y equals 2? You plug it into any one. So let's say if you plug it into the first one here, 2 two x plus 3 times 2 is equal to 7. 2x plus 6 is equal to 7. 2x is equal to 1. Next is equal to a half. Okay. And we're done with the first one. And if you want, you can plug it in, and it works. Second one. Here, um, what would be strategy? I would eliminate this y here. Just multiplying this whole thing by 2 and multiplying this by 2, you get 2y and this these cancel. So this becomes a minus 4x, this becomes plus 2y, and this becomes a 4. So 5x minus 4x, right? This is 5x minus 4x, this becomes x. 2y, negative 2y, this cancels, this becomes 8. So x is equal to 8. Now here, what do you do? You just plug it into any of the originals. So 5 times 8 minus 2y equals 4. 40 minus 2y is equal to 4. Um, minus 40 minus 40 minus 2y is equal to minus 36. Divide by minus 2, divide by minus 2y is equal to 18. Bada bing, bada boom, bam. Okay, so here we're done with that. Um, if you have any questions and you think, Mr. G, you went way too fast, raise your hand and I will show you and we'll work on some. Okay, but game plan is if you flip the page, right? So we did the first two questions. Flip the page. Um, ignore this question for now. We'll work on it when we come back from the vacation. But what I'd like you to do is right before we get to the vacation is get comfortable with this. And the only way to get comfortable with something you're uncomfortable is working at it. Okay, so here, um, I wrote some notes for you and what we do, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna explain what I'm doing in each step. So step one, I'll say I'm doing this and why, step two. So have this down in your notes. So here, what is your motivating first steps, okay? You want to create two equations with just two of the same variable. And if you're thinking, Mr. G, what on earth are you talking about? We'll come back to this. And here, two, is there more than one way of solving these systems? Yes, be creative, okay? The same way that there are more than one way of solving this and this, you could, there are many ways, there are many ways of solving this, okay? So we'll show one way first and then we'll see it from there. 
So game plan is you have three variables, right? And the same idea you had here of isolating one of the variables, that's what you want to do. But the thing is, it's impossible. Let's say if I just gave you this, it's impossible to get one variable by itself if you just have two equations. We need this third one, okay? So watch how we do this. First move, okay? And what I did was I said that this was equation, I said this was equation one, this is equation two, and this is equation three. Okay, so be patient as I do this and then you'll see the, the flow of it, right? So step one, eliminate Z from equations one and two. So if these are equations one and two, let us eliminate these, this Z here, okay? So what happens? If we have equation one, right? This is equation one, and we have equation two here. Let's eliminate the Z. And how would you do that, right? Um, you would, to get rid of the Z, let's just multiply this by minus one, and multiply this by minus one. And what do you get? You have, this becomes minus four X, this becomes plus Y, this becomes plus Z, and this becomes plus one. So what do you get? You get 2x minus 4x, this is negative 2x, plus 3y plus y is plus 4y, and negative z plus z cancels, and 5 uh, plus 1 is 6, okay? So this is our first system, okay? And what we'll do is, this new equation that we created we're gonna label it as equation four, and we're gonna hold on to it, okay? You're not gonna to touch it for now. So this is equation four. Now, what we wanna do is, our goal is to find two equations and two unknowns. Thus, we will eliminate the Z from equations two and three. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take equation two and three, and we're going to eliminate the Z here, and then we'll get a new equation. So let's see what happens. Let's eliminate the Z here. And here, to eliminate it, all we have to do is just add these two equations. So this becomes, it already eliminates itself. You have a minus Z and a plus Z. So this is 5X uh, plus 3Y, and this can't, so this becomes zero, is equal to 11, okay? And we're gonna hold on to this equation and call it equation five. We just created this equation, which is equation four, and this equation, which is equation five. Okay, so let's hold on to them. So now let's move on. Now, what did we do? Now we created two equations with just two variables in each, right? We created this one, and we also created this one. But let's say if I gave you just this and this. Let's say if I gave you these two equations, ignore everything else. If I said solve for x and y, you know what to do here. You know how to solve this. It's the same method, the same techniques you did for solving this one and this one. So what I want you to do is try and complete this. Solve for either x or y. Once you get one of them, find the other. And then once you have x and y, once you have a numerical value for x and y, you just plug it into one of the originals and you get Z. And that's it, all right? So struggle, well not struggle through this, go through this and try and find X, Y, and Z. First you need to find the X and the Y, and once you get the X and the Y, you plug it into any one of these equations, okay? Um, let's say if you wanna see the solutions, let's see what happens. So here, if I have minus two X plus four Y is equal to six, and five X plus three Y is equal to 11, um, let's eliminate one of the variables. So which variable do I want to eliminate here? Um, okay, let's eliminate the x. I can multiply this by five and I can multiply this by two. So this becomes like a negative 10x plus 10x. So I multiply this by five and this by two. And what does this become? This becomes a minus 10x plus 20y is equal to 30, and this becomes 10x plus 6y is equal to 22, right? 
and then what happens here when you add them these cancel so now you have 26 y is equal to uh, 52 right and now what do you do you divide this by 26 divide this by 26 y is equal to 2 okay so we got y now what do we do with y we put it into any one of these originals so let's put it into let's put it into this one okay so if you have 5x plus 3y equals 11, what happens? y is 2, so now you have 5x plus 3 times 2 equals 11. 5x plus 6 is equal to 11. F minus 6 minus 6, so 5x is equal to 5, x is equal to 1. We're doing it. Now it's not too bad. Why? We have one, we have one variable. We got the second variable. We have these two variables. Just plug it into any one of the originals. So let's plug it into, I don't know. This one looks kind of simple. It has less stuff. Let's plug it into this one. So we know x is equal to one, y is equal to two. So four times one minus two minus z is equal to minus one. So we know four minus two minus z is equal to minus one. So now this becomes, um, I should have done it somewhere else with more space, but okay. We have, this becomes what? This becomes uh, four minus two is two minus Z is equal to minus one. Minus two minus two, negative Z is equal to negative three, Z is equal to three. And that is it, that is it. Your X is one, Y is two, and Z is three. So your solution, is one, two, three, because this will be x, y, z, all right? What this is, when you're finding a systems of equation in three variables, basically, let's just, real quick, like if I were to say this one here, right? If we had this original uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to seven, and 2x, plus y is equal to three, all right? Whatever this was. Basically, in a two-dimensional plane, this is a line and this is a line and they intersect at this point. But if you have three variables, you're not in a two-dimensional space, you're in a three-dimensional space. You're in a, you have a, it looks like this. You see, you have the x and the y. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. But in 3D, you have a Z axis, okay? And the way you look at it is, they're not lines. This is not an equation of a line. This is an equation of a plane. It looks like, it looks like this. Okay, this is really complicated for me to explain, but I'll try and explain it in class. That's the idea that you're in a three dimensional space when you are solving these systems of equations with three variables, okay? Here, you're in a two-dimensional space with two variables. Here, you're in a three-dimensional space with three variables, okay? What I'd like you to do is um, try and do this question over here, question four, and forget this question. Just try and do question four by yourself, and then we'll go over it, okay? We're done.